Frantically trying to grip the rails, Percy slid into the yard. Peep, peep! Look out! The brake van was in smithereens. Percy's driver and fireman had jumped clear, but Percy was stranded. Instead, they saw an old rundown station. Disaster lay ahead. was still cross when they reached the top station. Sir Handel was hoping for a rest, but his driver thought otherwise. We'll leave the coaches now and fetch some trucks from the quarry. Trucks? snorted Sir Handel. Trucks? I won't, so there. Sir Handel was about to cause a great deal of trouble. Told you, said Sir Handel. But just ahead was a stretch where the hot sun had bent the rails on the track. Careful, Thomas, called his driver, but it was too late. That's done it, said his driver. We shan't get any further today. But what about my passengers? Don't worry, they'll be looked after, replied his driver. His railway ran through a narrow gorge, but vehicles had to tackle a steep and dangerous road. When Toby arrived, he saw the lorry from the quarry again. It was loaded with rock. That lorry's in trouble, thought Toby. And he was. The driver was thrown clear. Rotten roads, he muttered. The wrecked lorry was taken to the docks. Later, Thomas was resting when Percy arrived. A large hopper was loading his trucks full of coal. Thomas was still being cheeky. Careful, he warned. Watch out with those silly trucks. Go on, go on, go on, muttered the truck. And by the way, went on Thomas, those buffers don't look very safe to me. The last load poured down. Help, I'm choking, cried Thomas. Get me out. Percy was worried, but he couldn't help laughing. Thomas's smart blue paint was covered in coal dust from smoke box to bunker. Ha <laughs> ha, chuckled Percy. You don't look really useful now, Thomas. You look really disgraceful. I'm not disgraceful, choked Thomas. You did that on purpose. Get me out. <laughs> 